My name is Richard Fury, and I'm the Chief of Rheumatology at the North Shore LIJ Health System. Well, I may look young, but I've been doing this for about 30 years. I got very interested in lupus during my training as a fellow, and then started a lupus center here at North Shore in 1987. Without research over the last 10 to 20 years, we would not have a handle that we do right now on the mechanisms of inflammation in lupus, how various organs are damaged, and we certainly wouldn't have these new drugs. The biggest breakthrough over the last 10 years has been the approval of Benlista. And this was very important because this, I mean, this was history setting. We had three drugs that were essentially grandfathered in by the FDA, steroids, anti-malarial drugs, and aspirin for the treatment of lupus. No other drug that we use is actually approved by the FDA, even though they are used as standard of care the Avise SLE test was developed as a diagnostic. So what we're doing right now is a study to see how it functions as a prognostic. That is, can it predict flares? Does it correlate with disease activity? Because the goal of treatment in lupus is to prevent damage, either from the disease itself or from the medicine that we use to treat the disease. There are two general ways where patients can help move research along. So one is money. There's a major shortage of research dollars these days. But the other way they can help is actually participation in studies. An interventional trial with an experimental drug may not be for everybody, but there are other types of research. There are studies where we just need blood. There are observational studies. We have registries here. So we do have something for everybody. We're doing about 30 to 40 studies. So a lot of these trials are in lupus, but we're limited by the numbers of patients that are participating. Probably fewer than 5% of our patients are actually participating in trials. So I think it's key for patient advocacy groups to educate patients about clinical research, to tell them about the need, and also to tell them about the specific process. We've come a long way with lupus. If you go back to the 1940s, pre-steroid, patients with lupus did not have a good outlook. So I think the future holds much better therapies, which means an improvement in the outlook for our patients. They will do better, they will live longer, and basically feel better. So my message to patients, get involved. Get involved with research, get involved with advocacy, just get involved. <music>